Today, we're talking about one of the most powerful, misunderstood, and endangered animals on the planet, the rhino. Now, when you think of rhinos, what's the first thing that comes to mind? For most of us, it's their massive size and that iconic horn. But there's so much more to these majestic creatures than just being living tanks on the savanna. In fact, rhinos are a fascinating blend of power and sensitivity. Let's take a journey to understand why they are considered one of the ancient guardians of our wild spaces. The history of rhinos. Did you know rhinos have been around for millions of years? These creatures are practically living dinosaurs. Rhinos first roamed the earth around 50 million years ago, and today, we still have five species left, each with its own unique story. We have the black and white rhinos of Africa, the Indian and Javan rhinos from Asia, and the critically endangered Sumatran rhino. What's incredible is how each of these species has adapted to different environments. For instance, the Indian rhino, with its thick armor-like skin, roams the grasslands of Nepal and India, while the Sumatran rhino, covered in patches of reddish-brown hair, makes its home in the dense rainforests. It's amazing to think these animals have stood the test of time, surviving ice ages, habitat changes, and predators. But now, their biggest challenge is sadly us, humans. Personality and behavior. Let's talk a little about rhino personalities. Yes, they have personalities. You may think rhinos are just aggressive, lumbering creatures, but that's far from the truth. Most of the time, rhinos are surprisingly gentle and shy. They spend a lot of their day grazing on grass, bushes, and leaves. White rhinos, in particular, are known as lawnmowers because of how they trim the grasses as they feed. And here's something you might not expect. Rhinos love mud baths. They roll around in mud to cool off and protect their sensitive skin from the harsh sun and biting insects. Picture this massive animal just relaxing in a mud pool, almost like a spa day for them. It's fascinating, right? But don't let that calm nature fool you. When threatened, rhinos can charge at speeds up to 35 miles per hour, 56 kilometers per hour. That's faster than an Olympic sprinter. They have poor eyesight, but an incredible sense of smell and hearing, which helps them detect threats. And their horn? It's made of keratin, the same stuff as your hair and nails, but it's their main defense tool against predators. Despite their fearsome appearance, most rhinos would rather avoid a fight, preferring to flee than face danger head on. White versus black rhinos. What's the difference? Now let's get into some details about the two most famous rhino species in Africa, the white rhino and the black rhino. Despite their names, both species are actually gray. The main difference lies in their mouths and feeding habits. White rhinos have wide, square mouths, perfectly designed for grazing on grasses, while black rhinos have pointed, hooked lips that help them browse on leaves, twigs, and other vegetation. This difference in feeding strategy means they often occupy slightly different habitats and play unique roles in their ecosystems. White rhinos are more social and often seen in groups called crashes, which, let's be honest, is probably the coolest name for a group of animals. On the other hand, black rhinos tend to be more solitary and aggressive. So, while they might look similar at first glance, their behaviors and lifestyles set them apart. Conservation and threats. Here's where things get serious. Despite their size and power, rhinos are under constant threat. Poaching is the biggest danger they face, with illegal hunters targeting them for their horns. Rhino horns are highly valued in certain parts of the world, particularly in some Asian countries where they're used in traditional medicine or as a status symbol. But here's the thing. The horns are just keratin, the same protein found in our fingernails. Unfortunately, myths and misinformation continue to fuel this illegal trade. Conservationists are fighting hard to protect rhinos, setting up sanctuaries, anti-poaching patrols, and working on dehorning programs. Dehorning may sound extreme, but removing a rhino's horn safely, without harming the animal, can make them less of a target for poachers. It's a temporary solution, but it's helping to save lives. In fact, Conservation efforts have seen some success. 
the southern white rhino was once on the brink of extinction, with only about 100 individuals left at the turn of the 20th century. Thanks to intense conservation programs, there are now over 18,000 southern white rhinos roaming the wild. It's proof that with enough effort, we can make a difference.